Hey everybody, this will be the last video of the night. I thought I'd just come back on here and tell y'all what I got going on and thank my supporters. Thank you for supporting me, uh, getting me to 364 views. I uh, also want to know that I have a lot of content coming your way. Uh, but I'm going to tell y'all something. The most of the content that I have coming y'all way is nothing like no pranks or anything. I'm, I'm not interested in that. Uh, I have uh, like maybe cooking. I'm not going to be cooking. You'll be watching other people cooking, talking about like a single parent home, uh, talking about basically talking about what's going on in the world today and what we live in in our society and how we getting by in society uh uh talking about what happens when you lose a parent what happens when you lose a child so these are the things that we going to be um disgusting on this channel if you feel like this is not the channel for you the best thing that I could tell you and the best thing I would tell you is to do don't watch this channel you know because we're not doing no pranks you know we're not doing none of that um excuse me me it's it, it's been it's been up and down like I was telling y'all on the situation y'all watched my video uh today the first video I done Y'all yeah, know what's been going on with me. And if y'all watched my video from yesterday, y'all also know what's going on with me. Uh, it's been, it's, it's been, it's been. I'm going to put it to you like that. It's been. I'm still trying to get there. Uh, I'm just trying to stay happy, stay content, live my life, and stay present, and stay above water. Uh, I don't like to repeat stuff. I don't like to repeat my video. You know, that's why... When the person told me about uh repeating stuff that we already know i i didn't i wasn't repeating it for you i was repeating for the other people that surround you because in case they didn't know about hiv and AIDS, stuff and like that because just because you know what you know doesn't mean everybody know so that's why i this is the channel that is this is this type of channel and if this is not the channel that you would like to watch only thing I can tell you is don't watch it, boo boo, because you know it's different stuff that got, I'm, I'm gonna be talking about. I'm gonna be also be reacting to different stuff. I'm gonna be reacting to some music. I'm gonna be reacting to some videos. I'm gonna be reacting to uh, all kinds of stuff. I want to react to a lot of stuff to get my bra bras on the rise, and you know what I'm saying. I hope I said it right. You know to let y'all know. You know. Um, so it's more content coming. It's more stuff coming. More stuff that we could talk about. Uh, like I said, I'm going to do, when I move in my apartment, I still have to learn how to do it. But I'm going to do an uh, apartment tour. I'm going to do an apartment tour. And I'm going to do a lot of things. I'm going to be talking about homeless people in shelters and stuff. And uh, you know, people that get hurt out there in the streets, you know, just the ordinary people that we forgot, like the transgender women that we forgot all about, the people that's, uh, that's forgettable. Uh, I'm going to be talking about that Brittany Garner story, you know, about, you know, the time, the sentence that was posted to her today. So, I mean, it's a lot of stuff that we're going to talk about that we're going to get down to the nitty gritty about. But, I mean, you know, I just want y'all to be patient with me. And I want y'all to know that every story that I present to y'all, y'all probably not going to like it. You're probably not going to be like what we said. But it's just topics. It's just topics that I want to cover. Topics that I think that need to be addressed. Like, um, you know, sometimes these kids run away from home. You know what I'm saying? We forget all about them. So that's topics that I want to talk about. I want to talk about real life stuff. I don't want to talk about no fake stuff. I I will be talking about people being messy to other people, and and the uh 
and the gay family or the or the gay peers, you know what I'm saying? Because like, you know, I'm gonna say this, and I'm and and, and, and for everybody out there, don't take it wrong. I don't think when it comes to the gay family, I don't think there's no such thing. Because it's a gay family, we supposed to t- stick together and do things together. But I don't think that's true because in the gay family, people just out after each other. They sleep with each other, men. They tell, uh, they sit there and say, you stole from them. They do stuff that's ridiculous. They try to run over you. So, you know, that's why I sit there and say in my last video, and I'm going to say it again, I don't have no friends, and I'm not in a gay family. I don't want to be in another gay family because I see how gay families treat you now. They treat you like crap. They treat you like you don't belong. They treat you like, they treat you worse than your real family. I'm going to put it to you like that. But what I went through, you might not go through. You know, gay fa- uh, gay families is just not for everybody. Some gay families is for everybody. You know, so you just have to find the right gay family that is down for you. Because I feel like a gay family is something that's the way I was, when I first came out and I had a dread mama, it's, it's, it's something serious. You stick together with your gay family. Yeah, you're going to argue. Yeah, you're going to fight. But you, you don't go all out to the roots of where you walk all over them. You do things that you say, you you say things that you really don't mean. You don't do stuff because that's not how it rolls. But in naturality, in this generation here, it's a totally different story. So, yeah. Uh, I know a lot of people think that gay families is good. Yeah, gay family is good. Gay families can teach you something. They teach you how to bow. They teach you how to do makeup. They teach you all different kinds of stuff. But I think instead of the gay family teaching you the bad, I also think they should teach you the good. I don't think it's okay for a gay family to teach you how to boost, how to hustle, how to write, how to write shit. I think it should be something more than in there and coming to a gay family. I think when you're in a gay family, I think it's all about you should teach that your gay child how to be productive, how to be classy. Teach him about the HIV and AIDS disease. Teach him how about how to watch these men, how these men take advantage of him. You know, just teach him the things that we really didn't understand and we really didn't know until later on in life. And that's why I feel like a gay family can come in it. I don't think gay families should all consist of the ballroom dancing, going to the clubs, you know, hustling all of that. Of course, mm, some hustling gonna come with it. Of course, because if you ran away from home, you ain't got no food, you ain't got no well being for taking care of yourself. Yeah, you gonna have to get out there and do what you got to do. But at the end of the day, I also think a gay family should teach their gay child something with some dignity, class, and respect. Because in this world today. It's a lot of things it's been saying about us that it's not true. And that's all because the way we left, we lived our life back in the past. But our past can reflect on our future. But our, our past can become something different of a future. You know, we might not have a good future, but maybe we can teach the young generation that we call our gay son why gay daughter or whatever a better future I mean this is I mean I just I mean I just feel like people people that it's gonna call they gay it's gonna have gay children should be able to teach their gay children some knowledge because if that gay child don't have no knowledge he's gonna spiral out of control You know, that's the only thing I'm saying. I'm not here to judge anyone. I'm not trying to drag anyone. 
I'm just thinking to myself that it, it can be done. We can live a respectful life and still be gay. We don't have to go all out the, um, the bond. You know what I'm saying? We can live a respectful life and be gay. We don't have to do no stealing. We don't have to do no hustling. We don't have to do nothing. We just need somebody to, to teach us what's going on in this world today. We just need some help learning how to live our life being gay and being a transgender woman as class. Class is everything. If you ain't got class, you ain't got nothing. So, you know, basically, that's basically all I wanted to say. But I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to get out of here because uh, it's getting late, number one. And number two, uh, I love y'all. And y'all, I'm going to keep y'all in my prayers. And just think about and remember what I said. 